Now I have explained to you about your body. Alright? Uh, there are some parts of your body that are always the same. Right? What can you see in my body? You can see my hands. Hands, legs, eyes, Okay? And there are some parts of the body we don't show up. What is that? Maybe the parts where uh, we use in the bathroom. Okay? This is our private part. The chest is our private part. Our lips are our private part. Yes, lips also. And our bum is our private part. Alright? These four are your private parts. Okay? Nobody should touch those without your permission. Come on, come on, come on. The two times? Yes. Mama can touch because Mama will help you clean your potty. This is when you're small. Papa will also help you sometimes. Daddy will also help you sometimes. Right? No need to know. Okay? And um, someone pats you in the head, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Good thing. Good thing. It's okay, right? If someone kisses you in your lip, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad Good. It's a bad thing. If someone touches your lips, bad thing. Okay? And if someone pinches you, but they're not pinching you, they pinch you in your hand. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Very bad thing. It's not allowing you. Someone hits you. Bad thing. Right? Now, your private parts, you will not show others. Okay. Correct? What if someone else wants to show you their private parts? Is that okay? Never. Never. It's never okay. And what will you do if they try to show you or they ask that show me yours? No. Firm no. If your teacher says good job, that is still fine. But a longer duration of touch. If they go like touching you for a longer time on your head or your back, you should object to that. If it doesn't seem right to you, object to it. Do not think about what will they feel, what if they feel bad, or what if my mama blames me that it's your fault. No, it is never your fault. If you feel it is wrong, it is wrong. There is no two ways about it. Okay? If someone is touching you for a long time, like not just one pat and dump, no. If they're touching you for a longer time, if it feels a little weird, you have to tell your mom, buddy. Now, suppose you're going to the library in your vacation, okay? And there's this, some uncle over there who works over there in the library. Or he's also, some uncle is coming, he's like 25 years old, and he's coming for a present. <coughs> one day, he gives you a chocolate, and he says, and you say, no, my mama doesn't allow me to eat chocolates. Okay? And he'll be like, it's okay, it's our secret. And you're like, okay, I'll have it. Every day he's getting a chocolate. One day, what if he tells you, I'm going to see you, or you're going to see me, or we'll watch something on the phone. That is not right. Maybe some bad photos or something. And you say, this is our secret. What are you going to do? Run from there. Do not have secrets, especially with older people. Woman, man, uncle, like uncle and aunt, you know also. If they tell you this is our secret, you have to come and tell your mom. Because this is how bad people set traps for kids. You try to get your trust, you will tell you it's our secret. It will start with something small, like a chocolate or an ice cream. And if they say, Mama, you'll say, Mama doesn't know, it will be a secret. Eventually, that will lead to a trap. Alright? So you have to be careful about it. If someone tells you, will not tell your mama. Or if someone touches you inappropriately and tells you, you will not tell your mama, otherwise I will ruin your life, or I will destroy you, or I will do something to you, I will hit you, or I will harm your parents. Do not be scared. First thing to do is come and tell your mom, come and tell your dad, come and tell your nana, nani, dada, dadi, whoever you trust. Now who can you trust? Can you trust every relative you have? Never. You can trust your mom, you can trust your dad, you can... I, this is a good truth, but most, many of the crimes committed against small children is by a relative. So you have to be careful about older people. If they are touching you inappropriately, you tell your mom. If they try to have a secret with you, you have to tell your mom. Because this is how it all begins. You have to protect your body. Your body belongs to whom? Me! As you're not sharing your body with anybody. Me! Loudly. Who does your body belong to? Me! Their body. Never feel guilty. It is never your fault. You 
have to come and tell your parents. And that is how you are going to be staying there. Another thing, if someone tries to come to you and say, your mama is getting late over there, she came and told me to pick you up. Do not go with them please. Do not go with them. That is also a trap. They can take you somewhere. They can take you somewhere against your wish. Alright? So you have to be safe, you have to be smart and you have to protect your own body.